so in this video now we going to learn that copy function in that list that how we using sort and look we can use for that list so now we let's start with that so for suppose i define one x equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and then i will execute this one and then i will try to put that x1 equals to x now we have that value now i will try to print x1 so now we got that 1 2 3 in x1 as well so now x is also 1 2 3 and x1 is also 1 2 3 so suppose now if i put that x dot append and i will put 4 and I will try to print that x. So now we got that x is working fine. It's appended 4. But what about x1? I did that copy. So now we can see that now it's just copy of this one. It's just affecting that x1 as well. I will explain that region later. Now I will create that x2. And then what I can do equals to x dot copy. Okay. And then I will execute that. And now I will try to print that x2. So we have one, two, three, four now. Now I will go back and try to do the depend. Append of five. So now we can print that x. So now we have one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now I will print x2. So x2 have only one, two, three, four. But what about x1? X1 is again it's updated to whatever value in x1. In x. Sorry. So now how this one going to work? So when we do normal equals to operator to assign that same value to this one. So it's creating copy, but it's it's not creating copy. It's creating whatever x1 new variable, but it's going to point to x. So if any changes we do in x, it's going to update to x1 as well. But if we do that copy, so it's going to create one new copy and the reference for this one is different in that memory. If we do any changes in x2, it's not going to affect to x1. And reverse as well. If we do any changes in X, it's not going to affect to X2. So in this one, if we need to create any copy, we have to use that copy, not equals to symbol that we use generally. It's going to change that in both of them because it's going to difference on the same location. So this will be that for copy. Now we need to understand that how sort is going to work. So suppose now if I define X equals to 8 comma 4 comma 3 comma 9 comma 11 comma 55 comma 1 comma 2. So now we have x with this one. I wanted to do now sorting. So how we can do that sort? If we put that x dot as sort to sort and then I will execute this one. And then we we'll try to print that. So now we can see that it's got sorted and it displaying. 1, 2, 3, then 4, 8, 9, 11, and 55. So it's sorting what it's going to do. It will look into that and it will update that sorting order. So suppose similarly, if I have x4 and I, I will go ahead and pass that value of a string c, comma, dead, comma, e, sorry. D. And now if I go ahead and put that export dot sort, so it's going to sort now in the similar way, but it's added now. Now I need in the words we have that sorting. Then how we can do that? First I want it to be printed Z, then D, then C and A, or else. First, I need to print that 55, then 11. I wanted to do that in the worst order. Then how we can do that? So for this one, so to print that x dot sort, what we can do? We can put that reverse equals to true. Now if we put that reverse equals to true, okay, sorry, my bad. True, it's not going to recognize. We have to type it like this one. Now it's recognized. And those things we will get that easily when we we'll use that some other ID, then we can get to know that okay, it's not working. So now if I print that, oh, sorry, my bad, I put that cut. 
if i try to print that x so now we got that it's printed in that reverse order so similarly if we do for x4 for x4 now we can see this also going to return that in the similar way first it's going to print that z and then it's going to print that other value so in this way it's going to work that sorting we can do that so now suppose if i wanted to do loop for this one so i have that for i in range how we can do them this one to do that loop into this string value we can use that x4 length of x4 because we know and then i will first write that code and then i will explain print of i and then i will execute this one so but see i will print two things now here one thing is this one so that i will explain to you now and then x4 of i so now first thing why i put that here length and then x4 so region by net we know that range is only going to work with that integer value we need to do where till where it's need to execute that's why we need to get that length of this and then we need to do that loop second thing i print that i so we know that i going to print 0 1 2 3 3 respectively that value of i when it is it's ranging from this to length of this one but we need to print that x4 element so what i need to do x4 in bracket we need to specify that i so when it's zero it's printing z because right now we have sorted so it's printing z on zeroth location so if we go to first location then whenever it's first then it's printing d whenever it's second it's printing c when it's third it's printing a so in this way we can do that loop as well for this string also for sorry for the list and we can achieve whatever we need so we can learn that more details whenever we need that when we will do practical we'll see that how to what all usage of this one that's all for this video i hope you like this video thank you